Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Each week we bring you some interesting things that are happening in Frederick County. And today my guest is Sherman Coleman, who's a business development specialist in our Office of Economic Development. Welcome, Sherman. Thank you for having me, Jan. Glad to be here. Uh, well, I wanted to have you on to talk a little bit about what you do in the Office of Economic Development. So maybe you can start off by telling our viewers a little bit about your job, how long you've worked for the county, and what you do. I'm a business development specialist for the Office of Economic Development. Um, I've been on board now for seven years. And the goal of the Office of Economic Development is to recruit, foster, and maintain um, new and existing businesses. We like to refer to ourselves as problem solvers for the uh, business community. The main thing is our job is to bring new businesses to Frederick County, but we also want to maintain and take care of those businesses who are already here. Yep, certainly a lot of jobs come from just growing our existing businesses. Yes. So we want to thank people for doing business in Frederick County and want to help them grow and stay here in our community. And you know, business has become more global Yes. And so we really are competing globally, something a little bit different than maybe what our thinking would have been 10 or 20 years ago. Exactly right. Exactly right. So now we've just recently had our first minority business conference, and I thought it was a great success. We had, it was well attended, and it was really an outreach to see how we could support our um, minority business owners and even help people come up and start new businesses. So can you talk a little bit about the uh, minority business vision sure. within the Office of Economic Development? This is a really exciting time for Frederick County. I mean, we are on the cusp of, of generating something that's really special. As you know, you ran on the all-inclusive platform. The director of, of my office, um, Helen Profiter, came to me and suggested that I start something there with minority businesses. So I came up with the idea of Frederick County Minority Business Vision. And I wanted to be all inclusive, the platform that you ran on, and I wanted to target minority businesses, starting with the African American community, the Asian American community, and also the Hispanic community. And the reason being is that segment of the population in the past, I felt they didn't have a seat at the table. So I wanted them to feel like they are a part of Frederick County, that they are a vibrant part of Frederick County. With that being said, the results and the enthusiasm was just off, off, off the charts. First of all, to me, is if you have a business yourself, you have a vision for that business. That is really what your dream, what you're going to captivate. So the theme of the initiative is called Working the Dream. Working the Dream. What better way to kind of live? Um, out your dream to, to work something that you have a passion for, something that you love doing. And most businesses start off with just an idea in someone's head, but it's usually all inclusive with the family. You know, it, oh, it, it involves, always. you know, um, not only the immediate family, but your extended family as well. So it becomes a family affair. And one of the things that um, I'm proud of, it can generate pride in Frederick County because it's all about generating pride and, and, and taking ownership. Well, one of the things I liked most was hearing from business owners like Randy Jones to talk about what his experience was starting a business. And it really does take, it really is stepping out and taking a risk. Right. And sometimes you might head a little bit someplace different uh, along the way. The path may change a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but at the end of the day, if you stick with it um, and you have a good product, uh, people will will respond and, and, and be, you can be successful. I agree with you 100%, Jan. And, and one of my reasons for having Randy on the program was I believe success garners success. If people can see a template or an example of somebody who's done it, they can relate more to it. Um, Randy is a good example. We have other business owners too. You know, you, you have to have the stick to itiveness to be successful. And that, as, as I was saying that the day of the forum, which was very successful because we had, I think, 50 people originally signed up. But as you know, we had over 60 people attend. Uh -huh. And we had to turn people away because of space issues. So people are really trying to generate this and be a part of it because this is something that's going to help them in the long run. 
So what's next? What are the goals? Um, where do you see this going next? Well, I see this next is we, ha we are having every month a networking event on a smaller venue. Okay. Because I did not want to go from having the, the forum in May. The next was scheduled for August, August 26th, by the way. But we're going to have something every month to garner, to foster, to people who want to become part of this. Last week, we, it's going to be the third Thursday of every month. Okay. Uh, right now, we're holding it at Cafe 611. We had a, um, a session last week where we had um, uh, building business practices. Our guest speaker was um, Brandon Mason from the Small Business Development Center. Okay. Talked about business plan. Talked about steps you need to do to start the business. The pitfalls of not being successful in the business. So I think with the basic tools like that, like we're going to have one on networking, we're going to have one on financial. We want to have the buffet every month where you can go have a different choice of selection because we want to keep the enthusiasm there. And also, the good thing about this is we want people who are involved in this to bring others with them. I want the, I want the business community to unite together, become one. I always say there's strength in numbers. And I feel, and a lot of people approach me and say, well, this is really exciting. It's exciting if you keep the momentum going. And it's exciting if you get people involved. And there's a passion for it because times are changing. The economy's changing. The economy's turning. It's turning the corner. And small businesses is the backbone of this, of this nation. And small business owners got to feel that they have a chance and also a seat at the table. Well, whenever there's an economic downturn and people find themselves without a, a job, a lot of people look to themselves to start a business. Right. And so it really is an interesting time for when you're coming out of a recession because you do have people who've decided to step out and, and do what they've maybe thought about doing for a long time. So what concerns do you hear uh, from uh, minority business owners? Well, the concerns that, that I hear basically are they feel they haven't been inclusive, that they haven't been heard. And that's why I want them to feel they have a voice at the table. And part of the, the part of having the voice at the table, I want Frederick County businesses to do business with Frederick County businesses. Right. Because we have everything located here in Frederick that we need. If you have a business in Frederick, it's no need to go down to Montgomery County, Howard County, or Virginia if you can do business right here in Frederick. And my thing is, I want businesses to connect with each other, partner with each other to go after different projects and become successful right here. Let's build a hub right here. So we'll have to go down the road. Because we have everything we right here, right here, have right here in Frederick. But businesses have to be known. And that's why I want businesses to get together and network with each other. You, this is what I do. What do you do? So you look at these monthly networking sessions as a way for people to get to know each other, but also as a place to get information because you have a speaker of some kind every month. Education and networking, yes. I think that's key. I think that gives a person a reason to come back. I think that gives a person a reason and want to come back. And also it gives a reason for somebody to say, hey, you know what, why don't you come down with me to this session? Why don't you learn this? You didn't know this before. If we give you the tools to work with to get you better prepared. Because planning to fail is failure to plan. So we got to make sure that everybody has in their arsenal the tools in their toolkit to work with. So how do we um, market this so that more people know about these networking sessions so that we can have more uh, people be successful in starting their businesses? Uh, you can go to, to uh, there, there are going to be a, a, a list of events on, on, on the uh, OED website. It's, it's, that's going to be this. We have people on the street as well. You know, I've talked to clergy um, uh, members. I've talked to pastors who've talked to congregations to put the word out. We're talking business owners, um, the Central Hispanic um, uh, portion, uh, partnership. I've, I've been in touch with them. Um, the Asian American Center, I've been in touch with them. So we just want to get the word out. And I think that we I have to keep people relegating the news, I think, the word to get out there. And, and, and due to the success we're having, I think good news spreads fast. And I think people will be telling other people about it. So um, if you help a business, if somebody comes to you with an idea, they want to start a business, mm -hmm. they have a business plan, they need support maybe to connect them to financing options. Mm -hmm. But once that business starts up and moves towards success, how can we work with them to make sure they continue to be successful? I think it's providing them with the tools that they need to be successful. Also, 
letting them know that there are pitfalls, that if you have a problem, we're going to have other businesses in our network who can help you get through those trying times because they've been through it themselves. That's what I'm saying. I want testimonials to come from this where other businesses can say, well, why don't you try this versus this? Because we're all a family. So if you've already been through it, maybe I can help curtail you from going through some of the same issues that I did. And it's all about building a trust factor. Because if you're building that trust factor, people won't mind giving you the tools that they uh, use to be successful. How about contract connections? A lot of people talk to me, and this is certainly an interest in the small business community, how can they do business with the county government, the school system, uh, Fort Detrick? So how can we help these small businesses, as you said, be successful and do business right here and earn business right here in Frederick County. Well, it's funny you should mention that. The next forum I mentioned is going to be um, August 26th. And um, I've already been in touch. And one of the presenters at that event is going to be represented from the Government Office of Minority Affairs. April Williams, who's the outreach manager there, has agreed to do a presentation, her and her staff, on how to secure government contracts. What do you need to do to get the credentials to do that? So these are the types of things we're going to be offering at these forums. And also we're going to have a financial institution at that same um, forum. Because every business needs to know a banker. Every business needs to know a lawyer, an attorney. So these are the resources that we're going to provide the, so you can reach out and grab, come back and use. All right. So it's all about examples of success, putting together a business plan, connecting to resources people need, whether it's financial, legal, or otherwise, mm -hmm. and then having a discussion about how people can connect within the community to do business with other businesses and with the government entities exactly. that are here. And the key I like to end with, Jan, it's about taking ownership. If you take ownership of something, you're going to have pride in that. And you should have pride in your own business. I mean, that's your life, that's your livelihood, that's your baby. It's about taking ownership. And if everybody takes ownership and bring that pride, we can elevate Frederick County to a level we've never been before. It goes back to what our slogan is. And um, I got it right here. At least I had it right here. Here you go. Rich history, bright future. We've had a rich history in Frederick County, but we're on the path to a real bright future. And yeah. the light is just shining brightly. Well, uh, thank you for joining me today. Before uh, we end this uh, segment, can you let people know how they can get a hold of you if they want to join in in this effort? To me, it's all about love and touch. You know, um, you, know you can call me directly, 301-600-2137. Contact me by email, you know, scoleman at frederickcountymd.gov. I'd be more than happy to return your call and email. Believe me, it's all about us getting to know each other. And once you, once you know your neighbor, you won't mind inviting them over for dinner. Well, Frederick County is a great place to do business. It's it really a great is. destination for all kinds of businesses. And we certainly want to help all of our small businesses be successful. And I think the outreach to our minority um, business owners is really uh, important to make sure that we are inclusive and include everybody in our community. And I would like to thank you, Jan, for making the platform available so that all this could happen. Well, thank you. We're all in it together. So thank you for joining us today. If you're interested in learning more about the Office of Economic Development and you need some kind of business support, please feel free to contact our staff. They're there to help you and to help everyone in Frederick County be successful. Thank you for joining us.